The A1 Mini by Bamboo Labs is now listed for $249. It's also being advertised as the GOAT of all entry-level 3D printers, so I decided to pick one up to see if it is just that. The A1 Mini was extremely easy to set up out of the box. Uh, there wasn't a lot of assembly required. A purge chute, which uh, goes on the end of one of the axes, and then the spool holder, uh, in our case, because we didn't buy the AMS light, so we just had to attach that. The A1 Mini has a print volume of 180 by 180 by 180. For an entry-level printer, the A1 Mini boasts a number of high-tech features, like input shaping, noise cancellation. It has a number of auto calibration features as well, like automatic Z offset, auto bed leveling, uh, to name a few. The setup menu for this uh, printer is extremely easy to follow, easy to use. There are QR codes um, to help you along the way. There's a QR code to download Bamboo Handy and get your printer uh, set up within the app. Um, there's a QR code for some of the maintenance stuff that you do off the bat, which is lubricating those linear rails. Uh, it takes you to the wiki page and gets you all set up there. Uh, very, very easy to use, very easy to set up. Took about 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, and then we were basically ready to print at that point. So I have a first layer test print kicked off. Everything looks great so far. Uh, no adhesion issues with the PEI build plate, nice and flat. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. I also did one with the X1 Carbon. And if you compare the two, they are spot on. They are very close in quality. Uh, I use the same type of filament, just uh, obviously different colors to show the comparison, but extremely impressed. It really did good. Uh, you're talking, you know, $249 versus, you know, $1,200. And uh, first layer, identical. Not bad at all. Just to touch on uh, Bamboo Studio, this is going to be the slicer that you're most likely going to use with your A1 Mini. It's extremely user-friendly, easy to use. It's great for an entry-level person. It's great for advanced. Um, all the default settings that Bamboo has just work really well with their printers. Uh, so here's just a little preview of that. You've got a couple of printer options. You can also change kind of on the fly uh, within Bamboo Studio or Handy, which is the mobile app. And then here you can see a quick time lapse and what the quality of that would look like. And again, here is that Boron test cube just finishing up. The cube is finished. Uh, this was printed in PLA. Everything is nice and sharp, looks really good. Um, you can see uh, the bridge here once it comes into focus. Uh, printed that excellent. Uh, really no complaints. We did a number of prints with this. We printed a Voron cube, a test cube, which uh, has some overhangs, it has uh, some bridges, and um, I did one out of PETG and one out of uh, PLA. And I have to say, um, I compared these to some prints that I've done with my X1 Carbons, and uh, the A1 Mini is, it's right in line with those. Uh, very, very surprised, especially being my first time using the A1 Mini, I didn't expect the print quality to be as high as it is. Um, I would say that it is an exceptional printer. I did some uh, tolerance tests as well. Uh, I printed this bolt and screw uh, in PETG, and uh, it really did a great job with that. Screws in nicely. Um, there are some artifacts in the PETG on the print, so the print quality itself could uh, probably be tuned or tweaked. Uh, which we will do in another video. We're going to run through a number of different print settings. Uh, this video, we just wanted to do, um, you know, all the default settings, pros and cons that I've found so far with the A1 Mini. Um, well, first of all, uh, it prints extremely fast. Um, the print quality is fantastic with PLA. Uh, even testing some PETG prints, uh, things turned out uh, exceptionally well. It is beginner friendly with the all new calibration feature sets. Um, you really don't have to have any knowledge uh, to start printing with this thing. The touchscreen is easy to use. 
Uh, the menu works extremely well. It's easy to navigate through. Uh, for an entry-level printer, from an entry-level perspective, there is no doubt that this is probably the best printer on the market. It is extremely easy to use. It's easy to set up. It's everything that you would want when you're first starting out. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate it, everyone.